Testing one, two, testing, testing one, two, testing one, two. Testing, testing one, two. All right. Hey, team, look, this is Coach Bruce uh, coming to you with a couple more for tonight. Something that is very heavy on my heart right now that I just wanted to share with everyone. And that is, Mama always told my brother Elmer and I, um, y'all maybe know us back in the day as Butter. And uh, my brother's name was Fudd, F-U-D-D. But mama, you know, <clears throat> mama always told my brother and I, don't play with God. You know, if there's anyone you want to play with, don't play with God. You want to go play? She said, go to Simon's Playground. You play in there, but don't play with God. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that one of the greatest reasons why people are not flooding into the church doors, one of the reasons why people are not running to the altar, one of the reasons why people are not respecting God for who he is, is because we as Christians have fallen short of walking Christ-like on a consistent basis. Okay? A lot of us, I mean, we're kicking the church doors in on Sunday and we're going nowhere near church, nowhere near our Bible, nowhere where, where we're in a, a, a position to witness or be an example for Christ. Basically, what I'm saying is we're living a hypocritical life. Let me give you an example. In the book of Luke, chapter 22, it talks about Jesus being captured and being taken into the high priest's house. And while he's in the high priest's house, the word says that Peter followed from a distance. See, a lot of us are not following Christ close enough. We're following him from a distance. And see, what happens is in that distance, when we're not connected, then we uh, tend to not be as powerful, as effective. We're not making the impact that we can because we're following him from a distance. Now, once Peter gets near the high priest's house, it says that he uh, warmed his hands, amen, by the enemy's fire. I mean, the people out there were striking up fire to stay warm, and Peter was amongst them. Now, what happened was a woman, you know, walked up, and she said, hey, look, you look like, you know, one of the guys that... Um, you know, uh, 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 was with the Galilean, you know, with Jesus Christ. And he said, oh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong, okay? <laughs> I'm not that guy. Now, mind you, he stayed there. And a little while later, he's still warming himself by the wrong fire. He's hanging out with the wrong people. And the, but, the, but the crazy thing is they recognize that he don't belong. They recognize that he's different. They recognize that he was with Jesus. So what is he doing, you know, with this crowd? And so another person comes up and says, hey, look, you, you look like one of the guys that was hanging out with this guy, Jesus. And again, he denies them. says, no, 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 uh -uh. this is Monday. I don't hang out. I don't hang out with him on Mondays. Oh, no, this is Tuesday. I don't hang out with him on Tuesday. Or what about when? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. You caught me on the wrong day. Maybe you caught me on Sunday hanging with him, but you didn't catch me on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, the third person came, recognized him, and again, he denied Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to get it together. We have to be consistent in our walk with Christ so that people would desire what we have. When we're inconsistent with our walk with Christ, it doesn't make what we're doing desirable. No one likes inconsistencies. No one likes a fake. No one likes it when people are hypocritical. They're one thing today and they're another thing tomorrow. They're compromising their beliefs. They're lowering their standards. Does that sound familiar? Ladies and gentlemen, Mama said, don't play with God. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't gotten my Mama Said book, you know, you need to get that book off my website. 
This is what the book looks like. It's called Mama Said, 100 Life Guiding Quotes from a Wise Mother. You can go to my website at acupofmo.com. That is acupofmo.com. It'll be at the bottom of the screen. Y'all take care. Keeping it 100. Be real for God.